this is how a repository manager looks like and these are the different repositories these are present in our server systems we can access each repository according to the permissions given to the users we need usernames and password to access these repositories we are now connecting to the server repository and we can see what are the different folders in the repository here we have a folder called f1 in this folder we will be creating all the mappings to create mapping we are going to the another client tool called informatica mapping designer this is how a informatica designer mapping designer looks like we can access each repository from the designer we can see all the folders and the subfolders here you can see sources targets mappings these are the three different folders that you are familiar with right now we will access data from different sources we will transform that data and move it into the target this is what the process that I am going to do right now trying to connect to a source this is our source database we are connected to the source we will take the data the required data from this database I am selecting a table the structure of that table comes into the designer we can preview the data this is the data present in that table now we selected our source now we are going to select our data warehouse in which we already designed all the tables by using the process called data modeling so let's go and select our table To access each database from Informatica or any other source or database we require the respective database username and password. We selected the table structure. This table does not contain any data. This is the table structure in the data warehouse. We can preview the data. There is no data in this table in our data warehouse. Now we are going to create a mapping. By using this mapping designer, we are going to create a mapping. A mapping is nothing but we clean, cleanse, scrub. That is what known as the transformation process. Here we apply different business logics or business rules. This is what we are going to learn in this Informatica ETL developer training. First we have to pull the source into the designer. We must give a name 
of this mapping there are naming conventions we have to follow the naming conventions this is the name that I am giving to this particular mapping click OK we are presented with the source table structure in the designer now we are going to pull the source structure in the data warehouse this is the source structure in the data warehouse for this EMP table now I am going to connect or transform or transfer all the data in the source directly into the data warehouse I am not going to do any transformation here because all the data in the source system is perfectly all right all this data I am assuming that the data present in the source system is perfect so I am just pulling all the data from the source and moving it into the data warehouse so this mapping is completed now there is a source and there is a target and there is a mapping called M1 EMB score DW score this is the name of this mapping arrange all iconic and we will go and validate this mapping